Today we are going to discuss the Gifford Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. Now we're going to go through the, all of these very fast. I'm not going to read all the information that I wrote down here, but it is in the description and in the comments if you need to review it. Now a lot of these are fairly similar and that's why we're going to go through them very fast. Ghouls, Three Lions, Passant, and Pale Argent, the arms of Walter Gifford, Lord of Longville in Normandy, France. He was created the first Earl of Buckingham in 1097 AD. He was the son of Walter Gifford, who was a companion to William the Conqueror at the Battle of Hastings in 1066 AD. And John Gifford, who died in 1232. He was created Baron Gifford of Brimsfield. He was the son of Elias or Elias Gifford the Fourth of Brimsfield in Gloucestershire, England, a descendant of Elias Gifford of Brimsfield, who was son of Osborne Gifford, son of Osborne de Bulbeck, who died in 1035. Similar coat of arms for John Gifford, the second Baron of Brimsfield, who was executed as a rebel, and he died in 1322. The arms of Osbert Gifford. He held considerable property at Winterbourne, Houghton, Dorset, Devon, Wiltshire, Somerset, and Gloucester. Elias Gifford of Brimsfield, who died in 1130, the son of Osborne. Here we have one that has crest and arm cooped at the elbow vested oar, charged with two wavy bars, azure holding in the hand proper of Buck's Head Cabossed Ghouls. This was for the Giffords of Twyford in County Buckinghamshire. There was a Sir Thomas Gifford and Sir John Gifford in that line. Gifford of Acot in Devon. Gifford of Scotton in County York. It looks like there was Roger Gifford, who was physician to Queen Elizabeth and president of the Royal College of Physicians. And Gifford of Steens in Northampton. And Gifford of Battlebridge or Bottlebridge in County Huntingdonshire. Gifford of Burstall in County Leicestershire, baronetage created in 1660 for Sir Henry Gifford, and Gifford of St. James Abbey in County Northamptonshire. Sir John Gifford LeBouf, who died around the year 1300, Knight of Twyford in Buckingham, owned property in Oxford, Devon, and Northampton, and also here Thomas Gifford, alive around the year 1380. John Gifford of Hinton St. George in Somerset, alive around the year 1205, and was also born by one Sir Esmond, or Esme Gifford, alive in the year 1312. Gifford of County Buckinghamshire. Walter Gifford, from around the years 1270 to 1300. Gifford of Clayton in County Buckingham. Gifford of Chillington in Staffordshire, there was Sir John Gifford, a soldier and landowner, member of Parliament. He was knighted at the Battle of Spurs in France in 1513. Looks like that was the same year the crest was granted. Panthers had cooped, full-faced, spotted, with flames issuing out of the mouth. And here we see Sir John Gifford and his wives, Jane and Elizabeth at their tombs in Brewood Parish Church. Same coat of arms with a different crest that was granted in 1523, featuring an archer. Now, John had son, Sir Thomas Gifford, who was in Staffordshire in 1523. Perhaps this was his crest. Here we see Sir Thomas and his wives, Dorothy Montgomery and Ursula Throckmorton in Brewood Parish Church as well as the family estate of Chillington Hall in modern day. Gifford of Aveton Gifford and Weir Gifford in County Devonshire, England. Walter Gifford was Lord of the Manors of Weir and Aveton, and he lived in the 13th century and was son of Walter. There's also the arms here of Gifford of Kilcoral in Wexford, Ireland. 
There was Edward Gifford of Spring Grove in Middlesex and of Kilcoral in Wexford, the son of Sir Ambrose Harding Gifford, Chief Justice of Ceylon, son of John Gifford of Joe Martin Castle, and it looks like they descended from Colonel John Gifford of Brightley, a royalist leader during the English Civil War who died in 1665. Here we see Joe Martin Castle, or Joe Martin House. Gifford of Brightley in Devon, John Gifford, Sheriff of Devon, was son of John Gifford, son of Roger Gifford, who died in 1547, all of Brightley. Gifford of Halsbury in County Devon. Looks like there was Thomas Gifford and John Gifford, alternating names here. Gifford of Tiverton and Halsworth in County Devon. So they descended from a Roger Gifford of Tiverton Castle, who was born around the year 1533. Here we see Tiverton. Gifford of Worcestershire. There was Sir Alexander Gifford, who died in 1279, brother of Godfrey Gifford, Gifford the Bishop of Worcester. Gifford of Itchel in County Hampshire, Sir William Gifford, who died in 1549. Gifford of Aghern in County Cork, Ireland. Colonel John Gifford received grants in Cork, Ireland in 1666. He was the eldest son of William Gifford of London, who was son of William Gifford of Northall. Gifford of Castle Jordan in County Meath, Ireland. The Gifford Baronetcy of Castle Jordan was created in the Baronetage of Ireland in 1661 for Sir Thomas Gifford, who died a year later. And it looks like he descended from John Gifford of East Titherley, who went to Ireland. Here we see the remains of Castle Jordan. Gifford of North Hall in Middlesex. William Gifford of North Hall, son of John, son of John. Here we see North Hall in Middlesex. Gifford of Pole Malau or in Wexford, was the brother of Colonel John Gifford of Agern, who was Jasper Gifford, who died in 1670, and the family immigrated to Canada in 1822. Also, Gifford of Ballysop in Wexford, they descended from Captain Ravenscroft Gifford, who died in 1736. And here we see Ballysop House. Sir John Gifford, whose daughter married Theobald Stanton of Nottingham. Gifford of Helland and Helset in County Cornwall, England. So there was John Gifford, uh, who died in 1375. He was son of Simon, son of Simon, son of John, son of Ralph, and son of William Gifford. Also Gifford of Spore in Cornwall, Nicholas Gifford of Spore, and Lano Mere was elected Knight of the Shire in 1324 and had sons Baldwin and Ralph. Argent three stirrups and straps ghouls for William Gifford. Gifford of Elmden in County Warwickshire, England. Sir Piers Gifford, born at the Battle of Burlbridge in 1322. Gifford of Burton in Wiltshire. It was Thomas Gifford of Burton, who was son of Morris Gifford of Rodenhurst, or Roddinghurst, Wiltshire, who descended from Walter Gifford of Rodenhurst. The Baron Gifford of St. Leonard's in the county of Devon was a title created in the Peerage of the United Kingdom in 1824 for, for the lawyer Sir Robert Gifford, seen here. John Gifford of Hoxton in Middlesex, Doctor of Divinity, Coat of Arms Crest granted in 1626. He was the son of George Gifford of Malden in Essex, who was the son of Boniface Gifford of Drayton in Canterbury. Gifford of Winterbourne, there was Sir Osborne Gifford, son of Osborne Gifford, both of Winterbourne. And looks like he had sons Osbert, John, and Ralph. Same family. And we have Gifford of Yester in Scotland. Hugh Gifford, son of Hugh, son of William, son of Hugh Gifford, son of William, all of Yester. 
and he was the son of Hugh Gifford, born around the year 1162, who moved from England to Scotland. Ghouls, Freddy and Grail Ermine for Hugh Gifford, 13th century. Which one? I'm not sure. Gifford of Sheriff Hall in Midlothian, Scotland. Looks like they descended from James Gifford, who died in 1421, of Sheriff Hall. Alexander Gifford, Parsons of Newland. Andrew Gifford, Bailey of Aberdeen and Scotland. Gifford of Busta and Shetland. Looks like there was Arthur Gifford, son of Gideon Gifford, son of John, son of Thomas. Ultimately, they descended from Robert Gifford, who died in 1678 of Busta. Another I wasn't able to find. Ghouls, three bars, and grailed argent. Crest, a deer's head, coop proper. Motto, spare not. William Gifford, Burgess of Aberdeen in Scotland, alive in the year 1464. Gifford of Gifford's Hall in Stoke by Nayland. There's a note here that says it was constructed by Peter Gifford in the 13th century. And members or lords of the manor of Gifford's Hall were Robert Gifford, William Gifford, Thomas, and Sir William Gifford. Here we see Gifford's Hall. This was born by William Gifford, a knight of Essex. Now there was Gifford of Bowers Gifford in Essex. William Gifford held the manor of Burers. This is possibly the same William Gifford of Great Sanford. He had son Robert Gifford, who was granted the manor by letters patent in 1273. And later there was Ralph D. Gifford, High Sheriff of Essex in 1319. William Gifford, 13th century. Very similar coat of arms, William Gifford, 13th century. Robert Gifford of Essex, 13th century, and Gifford of Wales. Robert Gifford, 13th century. Sir Robert Gifford from the Galloway Roll, dated around the year 1300. It commemorates knights who served in southwest Scotland around the year 1300. Gifford of County Leicestershire, Argent a chevron between three roses, Azure a border ghouls. Gifford of Jersey, Nicholas Gifford had daughter Mary, who married Paul Ghoul in the year 1683. And lastly, Ermine, a satire on Grail Dargent. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.